Hey guys, welcome to the new tutorial of Houdini. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert the animated object into dynamics. Animated means it should be come from some different input like from Maya or from Blender and let's make it into dynamics. So let's get started. Call dynamics. Yeah. Make it. Let's import our alembic time, alembic car. Yep, this one. Let's name it car. And input. See, we have a pre animation pre-animated object here and it stopped somewhere in between the path yeah so we are going to make it animated and so after this animation the car dynamically move so let's start let's convert it into polygon and make it static in first frame frame number one and hold the one the naming is as per you you can do it as per see the animate animation is now static become static and now convert this one into vdb from polygon to make it a make it as a single object and let's convert again to be into polygon after we convert it into polygon again and if you think the mesh is too high or too much and it's become heavy so you can choose the adaptivity value 0 0.05 something like yeah for me i can go with 0 0.02 you can go increase or decrease as per your scene as per your model okay so after this i'm gonna attach the assemble thing the assemble will pack this geometry into one and let's name it car underscore you can set this you can see in the geometry spreadsheet the name is car zero so because it's a single body that's why the name is in single zero let's point the form So mesh to deform and this is the rest point lattice rest means our static one and this is deform point lattice that means our animated one this is for retain our old animation into this static one you can see the VDBs now have the old animation with it See, we use the point deform here because we want our old animation on the static one, our static VDBs. See, for now, we are gonna write one triangle here after this. to zero and animated equal to one what does it mean it means the dynamic should be off and the animated thing which is means i mean the pre-animated thing should be on okay so let's create one null 
and let's start with the top top thing top network yeah so here we do so let's name it uh okay same so what we required for the dynamics packed object or bit for the bit dynamics packed object one rigid body solver one ground merge gravity for sure okay let's connect you can use the preset if you think it's easy but go with the manual method because you can understand more in the manual method instead of using some presets if you have time you know so in rbd package ob object we are going to take the first context because our rigid body sorry our car is connected to the first input so i'm going to take the first context and for now everything should be on default here 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 yeah see the animation come but there is no dynamics still you can see there is no dynamics still yeah so for make this object into dynamics we have to take one soft solver go inside and write one triangle again it's just a simple thing so what is our last frame uh, if you go outside and you can check the animation up to somewhere 30 yeah 30 is our last frame so after 30 there is no animation okay so go inside and write if write a condition if at frame and a frame greater than 29 so greater than 29 is 30 so if frame is greater than 29 let's make i active the dynamic thing should be 1 and the pre animated thing sorry animated equal to 0 animated equal to 0 yeah put one output yeah let's check cool see now our animation is converted into dynamic after frame 30 so it's automatically stop we haven't do any type of scripting to stop or something it dynamically stop here so for make it more interesting i'm going to make one hurdle or humps here let me just copy this one so i make so this is the box i'll just make it bigger and edit you can see and let's make rounds and you can check with our pre animation our car is up to this animation is up to 30 see after this there is no animation so let's copy this one out hums i copy this null and let's create one step stick object and paste the path into sub solver and it's a static one you can check yeah it's can the hum scheme and in the collision go to the bullet and you can check show guide geometry and it's perfectly matched 
just off it on the display thing. Now, let's play and see what will happen. Great, this is what we want. After frame 30, the car is dynamically moved on the arms or the rumble and fall down. With one just a simple two two line of script, you can convert the dynamic uh, animated object into dynamics. So now let's give one more dog import. Let's call our RBD object on the top. Here we go. Um, okay. So we just import our RBD object, dynamic object into here. Then you can see it's now it's a VDB thing only. It's a single body. So again, how can I gonna attach this animation into our main body this one this is our main car so for this for this thing again sorry for this thing again i have to create one point deform and and take our old static animation here so this is See what is this mesh to deform. So I want to deform our old mesh, this mesh, and the rest point lattice. The rest point means it wants some static thing, static object. A static object. So I'm gonna wanna create again one time shift and make it static like frame one. And the third one is more deform point lattice. So go for the animated one. So before this one, you can unpack the thing. Yeah, like this. Let's see, see? Now our old car came back with our dynamic object. Let's merge for the better understanding. Merge with this hum. Uh, let's make it now. There we go. So that's it for now. I'm gonna attach this file in the description box. You can check, it is for free. And we'll meet on the next tutorial. Thank you.